Hi everyone, welcome to this week's uh, My Inner Anthology. My name is Esther Harsh, I work for The Reader, and um, this week I get to tell you about a book that means a lot to me. Um, I actually just barely finished reading this one, and so it's, it's still new to me, but it's come to mean a lot. Um, it was a recommendation from Jane Davis, actually, and it's called The Color of Water um, by James McBride. And it's, it's, uh, so it says, The Color of Water, a black man's tribute to his white mother. And it was really amazing to me, and it was really amazing read, and and a read that feels important to to have at this time, um, and yeah, it's really it's really had quite an impact on me. So I just wanted to share a little bit with you about it, and and read a bit, and recommend it to you. So, um, this man writes about his his life and the way that he was brought up um, in Brooklyn, New York, and uh, and how his his white mother um, married a black man and had, um, well, she was married twice, but she had 12 children all together and raised them all. And she specifically raised them in a black community. And so he grew up um, kind of realizing that his mom was different um, and looked different from the other moms around him. And it just talks about the journey of of what that was like for him and 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 what's more um even even more interesting is that his mom um didn't really talk about her upbringing and who she was um she was a really good mom and she taught them well and made sure that they were taken care of made sure that they um were set up for success but but they knew nothing about her really um, she was just a really strong woman. And so this, in this book, it shows his kind of flashbacks to this, to this interview that he has with his mom, this information that he gathers near the end of her life. And then it shows him reflecting on his life based off of what he finds out. And, and you find out that she was raised, um, she was raised in the Jewish religion and broke away from from her family, um, but she never talked about that. And and so you kind of just see how he comes to understand his mom a little bit more and and what a strength that she is. And it it was just really intriguing and really fascinating and made me think about what family really means and and the different ways that that can come about. Um, there's a little passage in here that I want to read, if that's okay. Um, this is on page 79, but he's um, just talked about, he's just talked about this moment growing up when he was younger, when uh, he was, he was embarrassed um, to be seen with his mom. And um, they kind of just had an incident where um, there was kind of, there was some attention that was put on them. And he was, he just wished that like, his mom looked the same as him and that everything was normal. Like he wished that there wasn't that difference. Um, and he says this here. I thought it would be easier if we were just one color, black or white. I didn't want to be white. My siblings had already instilled the notion of black pride in me. I would have preferred that mommy were black. Now, as a grown man, I feel privileged to have come from two worlds. My view of the world is not merely that of a black man, but that of a black man with something of a Jewish soul. I don't consider myself Jewish, but when I look at Holocaust photographs of Jewish women whose children have been wrenched from them by Nazi soldiers, the women look like my own mother. And I think to myself, there but for the grace of God goes my own mother and by extension, myself. 
I was very touched by that, um, especially that last bit when he sees the photos of um, the women in the Holocaust that were taken and, and put to death and um, and how he says, there but for the grace of God goes my own mother and by extension myself. That last bit about that extension, by extension myself, um, I can't stop thinking about that. It just makes me ponder about what, again, what family looks like, how do we define family, and how are we connected to our families, um, and and what's the makeup of that, and what what are things that we that we feel by extension in life, um, that force that kind of reaches out and 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 connects us to something. Um, it feels very very important and very important to understanding. Um, human beings and human nature around us and anyway that's just one small part um the book is really fascinating and i highly recommend it um it's become really important to me and um in my inner anthology even though i just read it and um i'm very happy to have discovered it and um i'm grateful for the recommendation of it and so i just want to pass it on recommend it to you and again, um, The Color of Water by James McBride. So happy reading, everyone.